ready. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. It's your boy Terabyte React here back with another reaction to Blue Lock, man. I've been loving this series um so far loving it enjoying it seeing what's happening and just enjoying the fact that i'm watching a anime about a sport that i absolutely love i think the world cup is about to kick off as well so good times <laughs> it's, it's actually a great time for them to release a um soccer anime if you will um because um uh, people are going to be looking towards watching the world cup i'm pretty sure that blue lock is pretty popular either way um, um i don't know what the rating is on this anime right now as it's ears every week but i know for sure that i'm enjoying it i've seen that a lot of my favorite youtubers are reacting to this as well so here we are doing it on my channel mind you not a lot of people is watching it here but it's okay <laughs> i'm enjoying it so i'm uploading it anyways let's jump into the reaction i want to see what's going to happen because we are down right now in this match that we're playing we are down after that i don't even know what to call this dude you know what i'm saying yes it's blue lock he wants to win he wants to move forward so essentially it's 12 versus 10 right now this is not good somebody gonna have to turn up in this episode and my guess is that is is um is chiggery's it is his time to shine we need to see him come out of that you know what i'm saying that that um state that he's in that ptsd that he's having um about his leg you know what i'm saying they were you know messing with him everything because those guys on the other team were his former teammates as well so you know they called him glass leg and all this other stuff so i think he gonna have to turn up i think this is gonna be his episode i've watched anime for too long this he's gonna be the one to step he's either that or he's gonna fail horribly <laughs> it's either that you know what i'm saying or or something else is going to happen in this match unexpectedly so let's jump into the reaction as you guys already know if you are watching this episode guys please check for the episodes early on sundays because usually i drop the episode early before it gets edited so but check it out i dropped the episodes over on patreon early so that you guys can watch the episode before i get time to edit them so make sure you go check that out if you want or you can wait for it to come out on the channel no biggie all right i'll see you guys right after for the review俺はこの才能を証明するために生まれてきた。この足でぶち抜くことが俺にだけ与えられた快感でいつか俺は世界一のストライカーになると。あの頃にはまだ。あれスタートアウトウィズ2。オッケー。オッケー。at the end of the day, he still got the most goals on the team. So if it, that's why I want to know is if, if we still win, what's going to be the result with him? Nice. この試合はもう負けなきゃいい。お前のサッカー人生、今日俺たちが完全修理をさせてやる。安心して立ったら。かまあ、シグリ。うるせえ。俺は。いきなり監督に気に入られたからって調子乗んなよ。まあ、それ
才能があるやつとそうじゃないやつがいて俺はこの才能を証明するために生まれてきたこのまま行くと全国でも注目の超速新人ですね意気込みを別にてかもっとやれます頑張りますいやチーギリくん右膝全十字人体断裂ですもし再断裂を起こすようなことになりますとサッカー選手として生きていくのは難しいと思われます。There are so many people in life,、um, you know what I'm saying? And I, I love to use. I'm not saying that other athletes don't go through this, but I love to use LeBron James as an example of what it's like to have what Shigeru has, which is you're born with that talent. Right, you were meant to do certain things because you do it, you're stronger, you're faster than everybody else. Right, you don't naturally work hard at it, you know what I'm saying? You don't naturally work hard at it, which is what LeBron does. Like, he knows that he has the talent, he knows that he has, you know what I'm saying? He knows he was inherently born to do a certain thing, like, excel at it at a very high level. Right, but that goes to show you as well in his work ethic. You know what I'm saying? His work ethic is ridiculous, that's why he's still going 38 years old, man. 38 years old and still playing at a high level in basketball. You know what I'm saying? Still playing at a high level. I mean, last year. Last year, LeBron averaged 30 points a game. Last season. Unheard of in the NBA, man. Unheard of. So, when it comes on to Shigiri, and what I'm realizing from them showing this backstory is that he understood his talent and he's going to learn now that you got you to gotta push through. Because you thought that the talent was just going to carry you through throughout the, whole, throughout the whole thing. Now, LeBron James has never had a major injury. He has missed time because of, you know, ankle sprains and, and stuff like that. He's never had a, like a broken leg or ACL tear or anything. No, any, no major injuries in his entire career. Some people might use that to discredit the fact, you, you know what I'm saying, him being great. Like, Like with Shigeru here, what I'm noticing with him is that he's,、um, based on the backstory, is that he's going to learn that, you know what I'm saying? And, and he, he never came out of it. He never came out of it because even when his leg is healy, you see that he's still very hesitant to go at that speed again. And I can totally understand, you know, the trauma that comes with that. But he's. He, he's He's going to realize that whatever hard work, and you have to put that in. Because especially when you're among all of these other guys that are essentially geniuses as well, you're going to have to step it up. Because really and truly, he wants to be here, but he's fooled himself into thinking that, you know, it's whatever, you know? And he did the physical therapy and everything. So, he worked hard to come back, but that trauma set in. This is a whole different type of giving up. Oh, Oh, 
ほらもうすぐ終わる君たちは負けるくそアディショナルタイムスタンプシャバイって急ぎボール回して急ぎバイス暴走か俺が決めるおなおいかトーニーてかビビらせんなよしょっぽいドリブルじゃねえか You gonna need that speed man やめろよボー Bro come on シグリーそんなギラついた目でボールを追っかけてんじゃねえよ Spacing out. Nice. You got it, bro. <laughs> Get out of my way if you're not going to do nothing with the ball, bro. Damn. Damn. <laughs> ナイス。世界一のストライカーは俺だ。俺には見える。感じる。逆サイド。タッチライン<笑> <laughs> he never told anybody what is what is um ten side that okay needle to suck a day can I can I talk so not go to no mine has me sometimes you gotta play like you got none to lose bread Hey, Did he just pass the ball ahead and run to go get it? Did you now? You were saying? <laughs> His speed is insane, dude. Sekaichi, <laughs> 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 His speed is insane. Sometimes that happens, man. Sometimes かんちがいすんな、ノーロマ。ここはブルーロックだぞ。そうだな。世界一になるのは俺だ。あ、やってみろ。世界一は俺だ。ああ、やってみろ。世界一は俺だ。<笑><笑> Yamero, Oreno Chimini, 
Bitch ass. ただいま。いつも。とにかく俺と契約すれば二次セレクションでも勝ち上がれる確率がぐんと上がる。な、どうだ。俺と組まないか。断る。めんどくさい。つまんねえ。つが、俺は出せえやつとつまんねえやつは
really cool lessons to be learned in this anime and i'm i'm loving it because it's not holding back on teaching those lessons especially to somebody or the young guys that are playing sports right now and probably think that they'll never make it to the pros if that's what their goal is because they got an injury right so for me in this episode um seeing shigari break out of those chains um metaphorically was was awesome because there's a lot of a lot of a lot of athletes that struggle with this with injuries that they you know what i'm saying they can't come back from they can't be their former selves right even when their injury is healed they still can't find the mental fortitude to move forward and be them be their former self they won't put the pressure there you get what i'm saying especially if it's the dominant limb that they use right especially if that's what it is if it's the dominant limb that they use to play it's hard for them to come back from that you know what i'm saying so when you see it like this i'm not saying that anime watching this anime can give them the kind of confidence or all of them will get the confidence from this but it sure as hell it does help it helps so if an athlete is out there that is struggling a young a young man that is probably playing sports in high school got injured got injured and they don't know how they're going to come back from it and stuff like that it might be watching blue lock right and seeing something like this will give them the confidence to hit that physical therapy really hard you know what i'm saying work hard at it get that leg that arm healed up you know what i'm saying and get back out there on the field and get back to the glory days if you will so i i really am enjoying this man and you know that's one of the things and that's the reason why i know a lot of people don't notice i know that you guys probably don't notice but Hajime no Ippo, Hajime no Ippo is my number one anime, right? It's my number one anime removing Naruto off the list because I'm too biased about Naruto to have it on my list. There's nothing you can tell me that, that you know, it means a lot to me. You get what I'm saying? So it's different. That's why I don't have it on my list. Okay. So when it comes on to it, it's kind of weird that i have a sports anime as my number one anime of all time you get what i'm saying but that's i'm very biased towards it right and it's very subjective it's not an objective pick it's a very subjective pick for me i love the show i love what it stands for i love the lessons that it teaches and i think it does it the best out of all the sports anime that i've seen slam dunk is a very is a, is a very close second and talking about sports animes that i've watched um haiku of course and now we have blue lock um i was watching i was watching um ace of diamonds i am going to get back to ace of diamonds as soon as i get the time to get back to it and I also somebody just suggested over on patreon that i check out one outs as well so i'm going to be checking that out but other than that man blue luck has just been amazing so far seven episodes in and they are killing it now i don't know how long the season is going to be but i'm hoping that um we get to see more of everybody and it just goes to show you that writing is so important when it comes on to this stuff because i think um when it comes on to to anime that's one of the things that people don't highlight enough and that is the writing for these shows is just so it's so deep a lot of times beyond what you see on the surface and a lot of the stuff is exaggerated in action but also there's a certain deepness to it it's something that they're trying to teach you and to understand that people go through this stuff and a lot of times these mangakas that that wrote and drew these mangas right a lot of times this is their life experience not necessarily blue lock the competition thing itself but a lot of this stuff that you see them implement into their writing is stuff that they've been through and they implement it or maybe a friend or a spouse that has gone through that that thing and they implement it into their writing um a lot of writers do draw from you know 
familiar sources you get what i'm saying so it's it's just cool to see an anime like this man i'm super excited to watch the next episode その結果、俺たちチーム<笑> チーム<笑><笑> お前あれだぞ。あんまりサボってると体内の乳酸が膝に悪玉ぐる小さみバーストで。バカ残鉄。なぎは練習なんかしなくてもいいの。ねえ。お前はいつもなぎに甘いな。当たり前だ。こいつ
right? You got to be able to learn how to reproduce it. Then it's just going to seem like it's pure luck to be, you know, um, so that's what he was trying to explain to them. You got to be able to reproduce it. Every striker has their own formula to create goals, create opportunities and stuff like that. So it's more of like some strikers might like to score goals off of crosses from you know wing players and stuff like that some of them like the through pass from a midfielder you get what i'm saying um it's different for everybody some strikers just love to have the ball so they can dribble through two three defenders and score a goal you get what i'm saying some strikers have all of those abilities or they like all those opportunities you get what i'm saying but you have preferences you get what i'm saying give you guys another example of another sport in basketball some players like the corner three you know what i'm saying they love scoring the corner three they love to get the ball there they don't like the long three at the top of the three-point line they'd rather get it in the corner maybe some might like it to the side might get closer to the sideline um you know a little bit further away from the corner you know some some three-pointers they love to have a hand in their face to score those threes some of them like it catch and shoot you know what i'm saying they catch and shoot they don't like to you know dribble two times step back three they they don't want to do that they want to catch catch it off the pass and just shoot it that's how they they do it in rhythm right so there's difference to how these strikers want to reproduce it, so they got to learn how to do that because some of it just seems like dumb luck if you can't reproduce and score a lot of goals. You know what I mean? So this makes sense. What <laughs>俺が会った中で一番すごいやつだ。終わりたくないんだよ。俺勝ちたいんだ。一人でも戦える人間になりたいんだ。お前のその<笑> <笑>まだ抜かれてない。終わりだ、下手くそ。一瞬の隙を見せるだけでどこからでも自由自在に得点を奪える。これがバロー勝え。ゴール。次で止める。来いよ、キング。手の内は分かったぜ。応援な一般
でもいけるとこの戦法すげえ面白いおいナギ今のやるぞああめんどくさいはこいつ俺たちの秒殺カウンターをコピーする気か強すぎだミスポスだろえい、ーえい、ビッチャー。Well, indeed, indeed, Lily. I enjoyed that episode, episode eight of Blue Lock. Um, now. I don't know, man. This is a tough one to call, if you will. Yeah, you know I'm saying. I want to see how they're gonna pull this off because we all know that. Yeah, you know I'm saying if this is gonna be a crushing defeat or is it going to be, is Sagi is is he gonna turn up? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are they going to do? Because these guys, anything they try, these guys can just do it in one move and score a goal back. At any time, so somebody's gonna have to figure out how to get the ball off of that dude's, um, out of his hands because this is a problem. He's a problem. Anybody that has that kind of control over the ball, and that's the reason why I have somebody like Ronaldinho, um, could be considered one of the goats because he has that insane control that he has, um, with the ball, like. Like I've I've never seen anything like like it. Yes, you could make the argument that people like Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi might have the same control, but we all saw what happened um, the other day, and this, this, this that's the reason why I said earlier. I know I'm probably throwing shade. People are not gonna like me saying this, but I've said it more than one time. It's, it's always said like I can't consider Messi to be the goat. Yes, he's done great things, which a lot of a lot of soccer players have done done great things. It's a lot of them. Zinedine Zidane, which I think still coaches Real Madrid to this day, if I'm remembering correctly. I'm not sure if he's still if he's still coaching them, but um, Zinedine Zidane was a beast of a player. You got Ibrahimovic. You have um, some of the players that are notable from the past. You know what I'm saying? Ronaldo. You know what I'm saying? From the past that just used to you know what i'm saying used to just play the sport as at the highest level score plenty of goals as strikers insane control and i don't consider them to be the goat you know what i'm saying a lot of people could say that ronaldo actually um ronaldo that used to play for real madrid if you guys know who i'm talking about the guy that is that has the record for the most goal in the world cup right you can argue that he might be the goat, and I I couldn't even really say nothing because that dude was insane at scoring goals. You know what I'm saying? As a striker, he was insane. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hanny has won the World Cup. He's won championships. You know what I'm saying? He's a really good, really great player, right? Hands down, if somebody would make the argument for him to be the GOAT, I can't even argue with it. I mean, I would still try, but I'm just saying. <laughs> it would be a hard battle, you know what I mean, to battle. But as I said, I'm not saying that Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo are not great players. I'm saying you have not hit the pinnacle of football, of soccer. And that's why you lose points for me. That's like me considering Charles Barkley to be the GOAT of basketball. You got to get at least one. Give me one. You know what I'm saying? Give me one. Win one championship. Lead a team to the promised land. You know what I'm saying? A championship is a team accomplishment, mind you. But it still counts in some capacity. You get what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit here and say that championships don't matter or whatever the situation is. We can compare as as long as you win one and you can make an argument for that guy to be the GOAT, I, then we can do that. 
You know what I'm saying? But there's no way that Michael Jordan and LeBron James, right, would be in that conversation if they never won championships. Because I don't want to hear it. You get what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? So you could say that Shaq is the most dominant big man of ever. You could say that he's your GOAT, right? But you have to have a good argument behind it. You still got to have a good argument behind it because these are all guys that have won championships, right? So when you take away all of that or who's your GOAT or whatever the situation is, I feel like they have won it on a global level, but the top of the top, the international championship you get what i'm saying which is it's to me that's like that's the super bowl you know what i'm saying that is the super bowl and plenty of people will tell you this plenty of people will tell you this that when it comes on to soccer if you can't win the world cup if you have not win the world cup i can't consider you the goat i'm just saying if you can't you can lead a team to a championship in regular ass leagues. You get what I'm saying? Regular leagues. Well, I'm not saying they're not prestigious, but you're not playing against the world. You get what I'm saying? I'm not saying they're not prestigious, but you're not playing against the world. You're playing against people in Europe. You get what I'm saying? Like you're not taking on the world, the best of the best all the time. You know what I'm saying? So, when it comes to the World Cup, the World Cup is just on another level. It's on another level. And I, as I said, you've seen what happened. To have that kind of insane control, a lot of players can have that insane control. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, some people just do it on a totally different tier than some people do. I believe a lot of, a lot, most of the top players can do certain things with with the ball their insane level of control that they have at, like the ball is just a, another part of their body is just insane and we're seeing that um in this episode here with this character um and it's it's unbelievable to see how they handle things i mean to be able to control a phone falling like that's an insane amount of control that you have over a limb for that matter to have that kind of control over something that small it's not easy you get what i'm saying it is smaller than a soccer ball so it just goes to show you that he can dead stop the ball like that i would think that you know what i'm saying it takes another level to get there um, so it's just one of those things, man, where I feel like there's a lot of people, um, I talked about it before we had talked about that video with Ronaldinho, just kicking the ball off the freaking goalpost continuously, like the, the top bar, just from, a, from outside of the, I don't remember where he was. I think he was doing it from outside the 18 yard box, just constantly hitting that, like the accuracy that, and control that you have to have over a soccer ball you know what i'm saying but you know some people will say you know if you practice hard enough you can do stuff like that i don't think so but <laughs> i think that that's just you just have a gift for something and sometimes your gift is unmatched <laughs> you know even in even with other people that are trying to do the same things as you so sometimes your gift and your talent is just unmatched and we're seeing that here like some people are meant to do some stuff and is they show no absolutely no interest in it so i was completely wrong about this character i thought he was gonna be totally different on the soccer field completely wrong about him i thought he was like super excited to play ball but he's just like ah it's whatever why you gotta try so hard you know what i'm saying it just comes easy to me but he is obviously like that on the field as well and that's fine um that's fine so this was a great episode man loved it leave a like leave a comment it's your boy terabyte reacts man i'm out i will see you guys next week peace